Hi guys, Tony here from GME. Today we're going to run you through the firmware update process for the XRS Connect range of radios. Now if you're unsure how to pair your radio with your smart device, check the link above where we've got a separate video which will run you through that process. But assuming you know how to pair the radio, let's get straight into the firmware update process. So when we talk about a firmware upgrade, we're actually talking about the smarts that drive the radio. So a firmware update is a little different to your usual smartphone update. Firmware updates are released by GME from time to time with things like new feature additions, bug fixes, and improvements to the user interface. So open the XRS Connect app on your smart device. Go to the radio setting, and if you've previously paired your device, it will appear in the list. You can ensure that it's the right radio by double checking the serial number. Click on the radio that you wish to connect to and the app will connect. Now if you've bought a brand new XRS, it will have the most up-to-date firmware straight out of the factory. But if you haven't performed a firmware update and you've had your radio for a little while, when you connect it for the first time, it will come up with a prompt telling you that there's new firmware available. Simply click the yes button and the app will start to download the latest firmware from the app store. This process will take a couple of minutes. So make sure that you do this with a little bit of time, not when you're about to leave on a trip. So when the firmware upgrade process is complete, the radio will beep once and then it will disconnect from the smartphone app. So don't be alarmed if your radio disconnects, that is part of the process and it's the way it is supposed to operate. So simply pair your radio back up with the app and you'll have the latest XRS functionality ready to go. One important point to note before we finish up is that once you've commenced the firmware update process, it's really important that you don't force close the app or turn your radio off because you could cause an issue in your radio. So don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll be doing a series of videos on XRS and how to get the most out of all the functionality in these radios. So if there's something in particular that you really wanna see, leave a comment below and we'll make sure that we cover it in a future video.